So I've been a professional videographer, professional in as much as making money from it, for about the last oof, six, seven years. And if I only had one plugin in Premiere Pro, this would be it. So this is actually the third or fourth time recording this because I haven't got anything right. Um, but I think this time it's going to work. Um, no, no help from my mate Chris at Chris Watkins Media. Uh, the minute I messaged him, he just started laughing because he's done it the same. Incidentally, Chris and I have teamed up and we have a live stream every Wednesday evening at 7.30 GMT. It's called Masters of None and we do we do everything. We, we cover everything from the video photo side of the industry. So we cover uh, gear, techniques, um, problems with clients, all that kind of stuff. So if uh, you're into that kind of thing or you just fancy joining in with the whole chat, make sure you uh, check that out Wednesday evenings at 7.30 GMT. I took a link up here for the past episodes and yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we do go live. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about a plugin that I've used in After Effects for quite a while, a number of years, but recently, and I'd say recently in as much as the last 12, maybe 18 months, it's they've made a version for Premiere Pro. And while it's not as extensive as the After Effects uh, offering, purely because After Effects is just proper deep dive into everything, it's such a good addition to Premiere Pro. And it is so packed. I say it's a plug-in, it's not really. I'd say it's more of a suite. It's just, I just think it's absolutely amazing. So let me show you some of the things of what it can do. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and this is a project that my company, my production company here in Liverpool, did for a client quite recently. Let me just mute the music. What this is, this is a guy who installs handles for the infirm, and this was a video to go as tender for local authorities to use him for the business. So if you look in here, we just followed him, going on his merry way to fabricators to get the handles made, and then we went into a place to get it all powder coated and then we went to the house where he drilled a hole and installed it and ended up with it all looking all nice so that was the whole thing so that's the video the actual working thing we had in mind at the time was postman pat um which it, <laughs> it was a nice thing to keep in our mind because we wanted to follow the the path of his day. So where does Premiere Composer come in? There, by the way, the After Effects version is uh, Animation Composer. Premiere Composer comes in quite simply here. Let me just delete one of the aspects of it. So here's where we want to apply the first transition. And as you can see, we've measured out how long we want this tubing. And then we're going to bring this circular saw down onto it to cut it. And as you can see, we're out and then we start moving out. So there's this little bit of real time and then we go to slow-mo. I'm not really good at speed ramping. I don't really like it in Premiere Pro. So I just cut it and then change the speed. It's a bit of an abrupt change, but that's fine. It's not what we're talking about today. So what I want to do is I want to come from here and I want to zoom out to there for a second angle at the same thing. Now, what you would normally have to do uh, with a lot of plugins is you'd have to bring uh, an adjustment layer and very, very quickly, you'd have to shift and left to go five, 10 frames. You'd bring that there, go 10 frames there, which takes that to the end. And depending on what plugins you've got, you'd cut that and go into somewhere into your effects and drag into this one and then drag the in into that one, drag the out into that one and then play it back. And depending on which plugins you're using, you have to remember exactly how to do that. And it's a real, real pain. Plus it really adds to your workflow. If you're doing that a number of times through a project. So this is where Premiere Composer comes in. Now you can download this for free, link in the description below. We've been using this for a long, long time now in Premiere Pro as soon as it came out, as I said, about 12, 18 months, but in After Effects for a long, long time. And the starter pack is free. And if I just tilde this, um, I mean, we're talking, this is all the kind of stuff that is free in the starter pack. So you've got text boxes, which you can edit. 
we'll go into that in a little bit further detail in a minute uh you've got text boxes here you've got text presets which you can add to already uh, inserted text graphics from essential graphics and you've got transitions you've got graphic elements you've got sound effects sound effects that also will automatically come in if you want them to with transitions. I'll explain that now. Uh, but yeah, this is the starter pack. Some of the stuff I'm going to be using in this isn't in the starter pack, uh, which can be purchased again in the link below. It is an affiliate link, but as I said, we've been using this for years and I only joined up with the affiliate program when I knew I was going to be talking about this uh, because I really, really believe in this product and if you're brand new to the channel you may not know but we only ever recommend stuff that we absolutely believe in we're a very small channel still we've been going for a number of years but we're very very sm slow and organic growth we don't sell out we don't do anything we don't compromise ourselves um i say ourselves i don't compromise me uh, i enjoy doing this and i enjoy it doing it for a reason so i never want to put any doubt in anyone who's watching to think oh are they just saying that because they're getting paid no never the case with this channel so um let's go with a zoom out so i'm going to deep dive into transitions so here here are all the transitions in the starter pack and i want a there's pans there so you've got all those pans right there it's brilliant. And I want to zoom out. I just want a simple zoom out. So let's tilt this back. So we're up here now and I've selected that. Now it gives me the option to add sound or not add sound. Now in this project, when we did it for real, we didn't add any sound effects because it didn't really go with the style of the video, but I'm going to include it here just so you can see how easy this is. So we've got the playhead where we want the transition. We've got that bit there and then we want to zoom out to there. So that's where we want the cut and that's where the playhead is. I want to zoom out. I'm actually going to star this because you can favorite transitions so you can easily find them later. And there's also a search bar here. It's such a good suite in this. I'm not calling it a plugin anymore. It's a suite. And we've got the option to add sound. So I've got that ticked. Now, when we did this proper, we didn't actually use any of the transition audio, but I'm going to include this just because it just didn't go with the, with the project, but I'm going to keep it in here just so you can see how easy it is. I'm not going to speed this up. There's the cut. Add. You ready? Done. It's that, that easy. I'm just going to pre-render this. You don't have to, but I hate skipping frames and I think it's best to at least show you with it fully rendered. Um, what's actually happened, if you have uh, if you haven't noticed, is it's added a course of four adjustment layers. None of these are grouped, so if you ever need to move them around, uh, you need to select them all, and an audio underneath. It always, if, if this needs two levels of adjustment, it will always go to the first available two consecutive video tracks. Same with the audio. It will put the audio on the first available audio track. It will never overwrite anything. So this won't just like come in here and all of a sudden you've lost your audio. It will never do that. It's it's such a such a clever piece of kit. Watch this. So there's our shot. Take it back a little bit. I mean seriously, one click. One click. And with the music. Now you can overuse this, but we've used it a couple of times in here. And I'm just gonna run these. These are different ones. There's a there's another zoom out there, and there's another zoom out there, and there's, there's a pan, and then there's I think I'm not too sure what that is. Let's just watch. These are all single click transition editions. So then we've just added this, added all these with other transitions, like I love that transition. It's a simple masking transition. If you'd like to know how to do this, let me know in the description below, but basically it's a mask that is running and I keyframe that mask to go all the way around to then reveal that. It just helps to just drive it and then continued with
I love that one as well. We've had you, you can think of the concept zoom out, which we applied at the beginning. Zoom in is obviously the reverse of that. This is an in out. So we're starting at his van. We're ending at his van, but in a new location. So the in out works perfectly for this. Uh, let me just run that again. And then we just use zoom in to progress because you can see in the background, this is where he's going to be fitting this handle and we then in with him. And yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, seriously, if all this suite did was transitions, that'd be enough. And I mean, we're not just talking, it doesn't just do camera transitions. Uh, even in the starter pack, you've got diagonal stripes. If you're a fan of uh, Mr. Mobile, he uses these. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually uses Premiere Composer because although that's what we have in the starter pack, just a single color wipe, which obviously if we want that one, I'm not too sure if there's actually sound with this. Uh, there is. So that's done and done. And if we wanted the red, we wanted to take that red and still want to see it, we'd keep it off screen, but select it and you can go into here and just maybe color pick that red and done. Fantastic. Uh, not only that, but in the actual packs that you can buy, if I go into shapes here, tilde this again, um, if I look into shapes, that's just a small selection of what's in here because those are all your circles. Those are all your diagonal shapes and your rectangles. It's just, I mean, you've got splits as well. I mean, like literally just to cut the track. Having the previews here with footage just is so, I think it's absolutely brilliant. But what I use, as you can see, the uh, the star there. That's one of my favorites because I use that a lot with a number of our clients actually. So highlight that and you can say if you want to go from the left, from the bottom, from the right or from the top. And uh, let's go from the, and I quite often go from the right, add sound, add. Now as you can see, there's a, there's a range of three colors here. Let's just show it with that color. That's with those three colors, but you can also color pick and change any of these like we did with the red bucket. And if your client has brand colors and they like this transition and this works well, and you're doing a series of videos for them, you can save it as a preset. There's a uh, musing of a man's old colors. I haven't updated this yet, but literally with one single click, once it's set up, that's your, that's it straight in. As I said, if transitions was all this did, then it would be well worth a download. Not forgetting, a lot of these are free. And what I'm gonna show you now is also in the free starter pack. And that is, if I go to my most recent review, the iRig Pre 2, I've started using their social media elements from Premiere Composer. So if you look at this crazy fella here and uh, by the way, if you are brand new to the channel, this is kind of what my uh, my channel normally looks like, what my videos normally look like. But if I go uh, to here and watch the graphic elements, consider clicking the like button. I know I say it all the time, but it really, really does help out the channel. And if you've been subscribed for a while, what do you think of the new branding? Too much? Now, you've probably seen that on a lot of channels, that animation and you probably, if you go into somewhere like Envato Market or somewhere like that, you'll pay a pretty penny, uh, or at least you'll pay for it. Whereas in Premiere Composer, if I go to Essential Typography, and I think, uh, let me try and remember, Extras, maybe it's social media, that's social media icons, which can just bring up. Uh, text and Line, I know that that has so, some social media, so you can do your callouts for there. Um, you could actually also do callouts in here, but I'm pretty sure it's in these, it is in the starter pack. If I go for text, uh, text presets, no, social media. And that's it. Now, if you, I couldn't find that. 
And if I'm against time and I don't really want to be searching, you could actually just go in here and just say YouTube and it literally brings up everything that's available to you. The reason why I'm deep diving is because I don't want to confuse it with anything that's not in the starter pack. So this, I can I can confirm, let me just double check. This is all in the, this is all in the starter pack. So let's go down. That is, it's not that, that's follow, that's for Instagram. It's for YouTube and it's that one. I think it is. And yeah. You can have it standard, which just comes up with subscribe, or you can have subscribe and notify. So hear the clicks, they're actually in. They go, they just get added in. So if I was just to add this again, it's the notify one and all that, add that there. Full retro, go hard. You can be quiet for a minute. That's that. And then you can easily in the edit bit, let's change the position. So let's bring that down a bit. You can bring it off to the side, whatever you like. You can rotate it. You can change the colors for your branding. So the color fill there, say you didn't want it red, say you wanted it that purple. You just click on the color picker and that will change that to purple it's just it's it's brilliant and as you can see here there's an alpha layer so that's where i just brought my image oh, this obviously i've i've moved it so if i go back to this one and turn that one off you can see that's literally just the profile picture of the channel that i've timed so i've that yeah that's the first frame that it it comes in so that's just there um what i do know is that Mr. Horse are always updating their suite. The Premier Composer, I must have updates all the time. They also have sales on all the time, which if you have this in here, when you open it, it will tell you when there's a sale on. There's just been a big sale on. So if you do fancy checking this out, download it for free. And then if you think, oh, I do want to buy that, but I might wait until there's a sale, it will tell you up here when there's a sale on. Really, really good. What I was saying is that there are updates all the time to this suite, and I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know how hard or easy it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if sometime soon, somewhere along here, will be an option to select to import an image. So you don't have to put that underneath. You'll just be able to go into the edit, and there'll be somewhere in here which will be select your profile picture and you'll just be able to, I'm, i just know there'll be that what i would also like to see would be the option to add a drop shadow uh, to text if i go to uh, just just a text element in text box i don't want a text box uh yeah let's let's say that let's let's um I can just go to here. You can also drag them down, but let's just put that there. And we're going to look at this a little bit more now, but say I wanted that's let's place it over here and say, for whatever reason, I wanted that white text to actually be the purple. Obviously it's not easily seen. What I would love to be able to do will be able to add some kind of drop shadow in here they, i mean they deep dive so much i mean you can you can change the tracking which obviously with this element changes the box um you can also do position correction within it if you've got a if you've got a, a font that is overly down here you can correct it up to there uh, and vertical and horizontal padding so you know you can offset that it's i mean it's such such a powerful tool um but the little workaround that I've got at the moment is to just literally add a drop shadow effect onto here. Um, and obviously with this, I'd probably maybe set it to white and maybe like, I don't know, drop the opacity maybe a little bit just to kind of allow it to pop a bit. I mean, that doesn't look ideal. I've made stuff look better than that. But to be able to add drop shadow to certain elements, that's something I'd love to see in uh, a next version. So let's have a look at the text elements and how easy they are to make. As a little aside, how many times has Windows ever solved the problem? 
And I thought this would be the best way to show you how good the titles are. Because, as I mentioned before, we're doing a live stream and every single text element in here is made with Premiere Composer or Animation Composer. This first thing here is actually a motion graphics template that I built in After Effects and then exported it to come into here. You see that box even coming in there? That's After Effects, Animation Composer, transition in just a, a, a scale from an anchor point and a bounce. It's, it's brilliant. But we're just in Premiere today and every single text element here Every single bit of it is all Mr. Horse. So let's go to the elements in here that is actually just Premiere. So that background right there, and what that is, is actually one of the backgrounds. Uh, if I go into backgrounds and typography, see all these? So I selected one of them and whacked it onto here. If I go into the edit, you can see I put masters of none on the bottom on the second line, I've changed the colors, I've set the fonts, and it just plays. And then on from there, we've got Picks of the Week, which is two line creative title. So if I go into, I think it's in the essential typography, this isn't in the uh, free one. I think it's text and it's, uh, what was it? Two line, so two line and it's, so I brought that in there, edited it up, didn't actually change much. And then finishing the intro, finishing with videography's biggest challenges, which is a two line basic title, which is two line basic title. It's not in the text, it's in text box fill, two line, and it's one of them. I think it's that one actually, easy. So then when you play them all, let's leave the audio on. Who knows? And also, we'll have picks of the week, maybe, if it's not too much of a challenge. So welcome to this week's episode, Videography's Biggest Challenges. <laughs> Seriously, how good is that? And then the outro, we've made no MoGurt for this. There's no motion graphics template. It's just purely all elements from Premiere Composer. I'm not going to deep dive these, other than to bear in mind that the only thing that is here that's not from Premiere Composer is this color mat because let me show you uh, let me show you um, an example of why I've done that. Let's grab this. You can also obviously you can always click add, but you can also drag and drop. And let's drag that out. Uh, no, let's drag it smaller. And if I press play, that animates in and animates out. If I want it a little bit longer. I just drag it out, that animates in, holds, then animates out. Hold on, but if I go even longer, it animates at the end. So it doesn't matter how long I make it, or how short I make it, it will animate in and animate out, which is why I've got this color mat because I didn't want to wait for them to animate out and it wouldn't have really worked with what we wanted to do because coming out of this telling you about next week's stream, it was then to go, thanks for watching, see you next Wednesday. And that's black because I wanted it to fade out. But if I'd have faded it out, it would have still say, let's take this guy. Let's bring him a little bit shorter and let's add a crossfade at the end of that. And if I select the beginning of it, you'll see it will fade out, but because the fade is on the end, naturally, it will fade out while it's transitioning or animating out, watch. It does fade out, but it's fading out while it's animating out. So I didn't want that, so I just put a black color mat on top. That works, but watch this. Every single bit of this, other than the audio, other than the music, which is smart list. By the way, if you're looking for copyright free music, Link up here to our review of Artlist. You can get two months free, I think, with our affiliate link. Um, but yeah, everything else other than the music and the black color mat is all animation composer. Premier composer, sorry, Mr. Horse. Have a look. It's 
so good. So, so good. So if you imagine before each stream, if you had to make this up each and every time, what a pain. If you didn't really know After Effects, you'd have to do something like this in After Effects and export it as a motion graphics template if you wanted to be able to edit it rather than create it every time. But because I've got all these elements, all I have to do is select which one I want. Ah, yeah, okay. So Wednesday, 30th of June. What is the next after that? 7th of July. Why, wow, where is this year going? So I'll just say Wednesday, 7th. It's, if you look in here, it's already... It actually edits and updates in live time. 7th of July. In. Done. It's such a good tool. And don't forget, the amount of stuff you get already for free is just crazy. Again, looking at this, by the way, this element, you can see if I'd have just left it as white, it's still all right, but you've got the white over the white there and it doesn't pop that much. So I just dropped a drop shadow, get, had a no blur and just picked the red just to offset it a little bit, just so it bounces out a bit. Um, again, I'd love, it, it, feels, it feels terrible to even say there's something I'd like to improve on this, but if there was anything to improve, I would change that. And if I'm being really, really picky, I would like to be able to, just like I can in the After, X, After Effects version, I'd like to be able to change the time in which something transitions in and transitions out. Don't know how easy that would be to do and implement in Premiere Pro. But personally, those are two things that I would like, but they're really not deal breakers. How good is this? It's so powerful. And the starter pack you get so much for absolutely no money whatsoever. Don't forget, affiliate link below. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd love to know because as I said at the beginning, this is something new that I'm trying. I learned all of everything that I do from the University of YouTube. And I know what I wanted to see in terms of tutorials. I may be talking a bit too much. I may go a little bit too fast in times. I've tried to pace it, but if you found this at least helpful, I'd love a like. Really, really would, um, because it really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. wonder how I did that. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if you'd like to see more of these. And if you would, let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. Is it editing techniques? Is it other plugins? Um, I'd love to know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. My name's Adam. This is Music of a Man. Don't forget, live stream, 7.30, Wednesdays, GMT, PM. What? Could have said that easier. But thanks. I'll see you again next time.